So here is an easy question from the International Chemistry Olympiad. Uh, it concerns with uh, equilibria, various equilibria of zinc hydroxide, uh, and uh, let's just get right into it. So the question is, the solution equi equilibrium of zinc hydroxide solid at 25 degrees Celsius and relevant equilibrium constants are given, and these are uh, some of the equilibriums that are established. Uh, the solubility of S of zinc, concentration of zinc in saturated aqueous solutions, is given as this entire expression right here. When the equilibria in 1 to 4 are established, calculate the pH range in which zinc hydroxide aqueous is the greatest among zinc plus 2, zinc hydroxide aqueous, and zinc hydroxide 4, 2 minus aqueous. So it's, it's, it's a really straightforward problem. You just need to play a bit with the equilibrium constants, do a bit of algebra, and, and everything will be all right. So let's start with the first equilibrium. The first equilibrium says, uh, this is a sparingly soluble salt, so that's why we have the Ksp right here. And for a sparingly soluble salt, the equilibrium constant, uh, well, that is just defined as the product uh, of the concentrations raised to the uh, power of the stoichiometric coefficients and just multiply them and just write it equal to the uh, to the equilibrium constant so in this case we have zinc 2 plus multiplied by oh minus squared since the equilibrium the stoichiometric co coefficient is 2 this is equal to 1.74 into 10 to the power of negative 17. the next one the next one is uh, another another equilibrium. In this case, this is a solid and this is an aqueous solution. Now we know that the activity of solids uh, in their pure state is just equal to unity. So we don't need to take that into consideration. We can directly write that the concentration of zinc hydroxide aqueous, that is equal to 2.62 into 10 to the power of negative 6. Next equilibria, uh, well, that is this one right here. In this equilibria, we again have a solid. We don't need to take care of it. The equilibrium constant can be written as zinc hydroxide ZnOH whole 4, 2 minus divided by OH minus to the power of 2. And the activity of this part is just equal to 1, so that really does not factor in. This is equal to 6.47 into 10 to the power of negative 2. So these are three equations, and now we need to uh, somehow relate them. What, have, what condition do we have? Well, the condition we have is that zinc hydroxide aqueous, this should be greater than Zn2+, plus, and also that it should be greater than uh, the other zinc hydroxide species, that is ZnOH whole 4, 2 minus. Oops, sorry. So, let's, let's try solving this. Let's start with the first equation. Uh, this, let me just uh, write this in terms of equilibrium constants so that we don't have to uh, calculate many numbers. This is K1 and this is K2. Now, zinc hydroxide aqueous, that concentration is just fixed. That is just equal to K1. So K1 from this first equation, K1 is greater than the concentration of Zn2 plus that is just equal to the Ksp divided by, divided by the square of the hydroxide concentration. So that is something. That is the first equation that we have. Another condition, that is the second condition that we have, we can write that condition as, we can write it as, again, the this concentration right here, uh, this is just equal to K1, and this is greater than, now, now we use this equation right here, so we can write the concentration of ZnOH whole 4, 2 minus, as this constant right here, which is K2, multiplied by, multiplied by the square of the hydroxide concentration. So 
From this equation, we get that the square of the hydroxide concentration should be greater than Ksp divided by K1. And from here, we get that it should be less than K1 over K2. So let's just find, find these two constants. So Ksp, Ksp over K1. Uh, I suppose that's correct. All right. So Ksp over K1. This is equal to, and I'm using calculator for this. Calculators are allowed in the International Chemistry Olympiad. So it is 1.74 uh, into 10 to the power negative 17 divided by 2.62 div multiplied by 10 to the power negative 6. This gives us 0. 0.664 into 10 to the power of negative negative 11 or if you write it in normal people terms this is 6.64 into 10 to the power negative 12 and since this is squared we can take the square root of it and we will get the concentration of the hydroxide that has to be I'm taking the square root of this thing so the square root of this is so the concentration of hydroxide that has to be greater than 2.57 into 10 to the power of negative 6. The other term right here, so K1 over K2, K1 over K2, so 2.62 into 10 to the power of negative 6, so 0 0.50s, 5 zeros, 5 zeros, 262, divided by 0 0.0647. This is equal to something, and then again we have to take the square root of it. So the square root of this thing is 6.36 into 10 to the power of negative 3. Now, from this, from this right here, we can absolutely say that the pOH, the potential of the hydroxide ion, that has to be greater than Notice it has to be greater than because uh, the POH is negative log, and when you have negatives on both sides, you need to reverse the inequality. So the negative log of this thing, the negative log of this thing, negative log of this thing, is equal to two point one nine six. And when that is the case, the pH the pH which is equal to 14 minus the pOH, the pH now has to be less than, again, there is a negative sign involved, so it has to be less than, it has to be less than uh, 14 minus 2.196, that is equal to 11.804. Or we can just do 11.8 since uh, we don't really have five significant figures to play with. Similarly, we do the same process right here as well. In this case, the pOH will be less than, the pOH will be less than uh, to 0 0.5 zeros. Uh, I'm just putting five zeros for some reason instead of using the scientific notation. But anyways, 5, 9, and 14 minus this answer, well, that gives us a pH greater than 8.41. So, so the pH range in which both of these equations hold true, that pH range is from 8.41 to 11.8. And in this equation, in this range, in this pH range, uh, the zinc hydroxide aqueous concentration is actually uh, the highest, the greatest among all the three.